about the first stages of making a bracket for putting a crest spindle onto the spindle nose of the tarmac. Uh, you can just see I've drilled a couple of holes out. The main reason I've done that is with flood coolant. It's just not the coolant isn't powerful enough to clear the chips from the pockets while uh, the holes are being milled. So I drilled a hole right through and I'll brush out the cutting from the bottom and uh, it should help a lot uh, with uh, recutting of chippings. So we'll see how it progresses. So there you can see the radius on one end being formed. And the material slightly off centre to well, not off centre, but there's no spare on there, so uh, it's uh, missing a full half circle. But it doesn't really matter, it's uh, very close to what I want. Once this corner has been rounded off, I'll put a clamp. I'll slow down the match valve to zero at a convenient point and put a clamp in position so that it's well clamped at this, uh, this end and I will remove this clamp here because the cutter has to come around here and along here but it's cutting fine it's a nice cutting action uh, 10 millimeter general purpose end mill I use my end mill cutter grinder uh, just to sharpen the nose up and it's fine it's a lovely ER25 tool holder first time I've used it and it's, uh, it's looking really nice it's good we have the, the hole finished. Well, as you can see, the profiling's gone quite well, and we're onto the last hole. There's a slight, well, I wouldn't say a glitch, but the part of the program just wants to round this corner off. I don't know why. It's not what I planned to do, but I'll stop the machine as soon as this hole is finished. It's quite nice having drilled the I've got a large hole there. It's uh, allowing the cups to drain quite well. There you see the bracket uh, roughed out. Uh, next phase will be probably using conversational programming to put a slit across here and put some bolt holes and uh, tap them uh, for in, to enable to clamp both this and this hole. So we'll see how we get on in the next year. Counterboring with a very blunt drill. A counterboring, well, not counterboring, just put a clearance drill uh, down to the split line that this clamp is going to be, or the, the split for the clamping of the uh, bracket is going to be. So that's it, it's, it's doing alright. Just getting an uh, eighth of an inch back each time. That should be cut nicely. Well, I've just program this tapping head seems to well, it seems to be working okay. First time I've used it. And down it goes. That's lovely, I like that. <laughs> and you can see just pull a bit of tension as it comes out, that's great. So I will see what that's like. I'm pretty sure it's okay. And I think the thread will be more or less deep enough. I can always deepen it manually if I need to. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, it's been a really nice job with this. Uh, you can just see the thread at the bottom. Uh, there's a good half inch of thread there, maybe more. So I'm, I'm well pleased with it. It was very easy to figure out, apart from the fact I have the machine set up. An imperial unit, so I was using a metric tap, so I just had to work out the pitch in inches. And uh, once I did that, it was fine just to put that in, and it worked really well. I'm very pleased with that, that's good. Right through this piece of metal with a 
one nil, and we'll find close now at the end. Well, there we see it. Oh, there we see it. When my fingers over the lens, successful. Uh, made a little bit of noise on the last cut, as though the slot was trying to close up on the cutter, but uh, it survived, as you can see. There we are. It's in one piece, and uh, I'm well pleased with that. Okay, if you can hear me above the noise of this, we're making the bracket that fits onto the side of the crest mount. I'm using Path, uh, not Path Pilot, uh, well I'm using Path Pilot on the, <coughs> excuse me, on the tour mount. But I use Fusion 360 for both the drawing and the cam as well for this. It's the first time I've used the cam. Now I've got off to a bit of a shaky start with the zero position uh, because I hadn't paid much attention to it when I first used the program so I kind of cheat a bit and the top first uh, the top cup doesn't work quite right but everything else seems to be going okay now uh, since then if you look at the, the screen you'll see the profile that it's cutting and it seems to be going okay put that on my own view you get a better idea And you can see it's it's cutting quite nicely, so we'll see what happens at the end of it all. Might be a scrapper, might not. But you can see it's really taking shape now. It's cutting really well, I'm quite pleased with it. A little bit of chatter where it's cutting the width of the cutter, uh, but that's due to me. Turn up the volume here a bit on this because you get an awful lot of recutting going on. You'll hear it, it crunches under the cutter. I don't like it, but there's nothing much I can do about it. Although, I maybe mean, think about getting some kind of air blast rather than uh, cooling. You'll hear it as it cuts. Anyway, there's only another two more to go, or two passes, and then I'll think about finishing it using Pat Pilot. Well, there's the finished, well, not finished, but the uh, profile article. Uh, cycle time for that was 36 minutes, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm well pleased with it, apart from uh, there's a half millimetre step here, which I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll use the uh, Superfly cutter on it, just take half a millimetre off there, and a couple of passes, and then turn it over. Take this off until I've got the through hole here in Path Pilot. I'll do that and then cut the slot here and drill and tap the clamping hole in here and two holes in there. But I'll do the rest of this in Path Pilot uh, because it's just as quick to do it that way. I did actually attempt to do it in Fusion 360, but it didn't like some of the things I was doing with it. I, I need to uh, educate myself a little bit more with the uh, use of the the C, uh, the cam side of things but you know for the first profiling job that, uh, in in Fusion 360 I'm very impressed with it it's a, it's a nice program uh, I will be using it more in future as well uh, it's really this is the first time I've used the adaptive roughing and it, it's, it's very good and uh, it, it seemed to lend itself to this job anyway uh, nice easy job really when you look at it it's, uh, there's nothing uh, special about it Anyway, we'll see how it goes once I've done the rest on with the path bike. There we are with a super fly, just uh, get rid of that step on the face. Uh, nice, beautiful finish for this group. There are any little inserts in it. Uh, really good. I've had to turn the coolant off, it just throws it everywhere. But it doesn't seem to have affected the finish any at all. It's absolutely lovely finish. Very conservative feet. I forgot I'm working in millimeters and not inches, so it's kind of uh, a little bit slow. Never mind, it's working fine. Nothing. There we go, there we go. 
There you see the thickness finish finished cut. Don't know where my uh, Tommy bar's gone for this uh, wrench for this uh, race. I think it may be lurking underneath the, the mill itself. But there we are. That's it out of the thing. What a superb finish! Apart from on the last cut, it was getting a bit chattery, where it was knocking off the, the very th thin pieces of metal that were left but it's pretty good I just got to slot it and drill it Position and that's it, and then I can hit my go to G30, and that's it. So we're at the G30, and that's the slot. 